At least five potential candidates have emerged to replace Victorian Liberal MP Matthew Bark, who will resign from Parliament at the end of the year. Victoria political reporter Simon Love has this exclusive report. Jostling has already begun for who may replace the former deputy leader in the Legislative Council for the Liberal Party, Matthew Bark. Sky News can reveal that the former Liberal candidate for the state seat of Richmond, Lucas Moon, is weighing up whether to throw his hat in the ring for pre-selection for that seat. Now, Sky News has also been told that other candidates may also include those who ran at, for pre-selection in the lower house seat of Warrandyte and were unsuccessful. But one contender with an interesting backstory is former Liberal MP for Forest Hill, Neil Angus, with two senior Liberal sources confirming he has begun to canvass support. Mr Angus lost his lower house seat after he was barred from attending Parliament due to being unvaccinated against COVID-19. Mr Angus was contacted for comment. He could be up against a number of other candidates. Now, they may include uh, the young lawyer, Antonietta De Cosmo, who's a former staffer of the former Warrandyte MP, Ryan Smith. Ms De Cosmo has confirmed her intentions to Sky News, saying while neither the date for pre-selection nor the date of Matt's departure have been finalised, running for the position is certainly something that I will be seriously considering. But Lucas Moon's intentions that have been put to Sky News by sources are quite interesting given that he only secured around about 19% of the primary vote in the Richmond state election uh, contest last November. Mr Moon has told Sky News, in the wake of Matt Bark's resignation, I am contemplating nomination for pre-selection to fill the vacancy. I feel a deep connection and responsibility towards the northeastern metropolitan region. The state leader, John Pesciuto, has been coy on whether a woman should take this seat in place of Matthew Bark. So the jostling will continue, no doubt, particularly with Matthew Bark set to retire and leave the parliament to head over to Britain at the end of this year.